All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back from break. I hope you are all well rested. We are going to get into what we have here. It's going to be called the ISO circle. So with the ISO circle, we're going to create an ISO cube to allow us to draw three circles on the top, front, and right plane. Now, ideally, I would never have these uh, this many different colors on my drawing, but I decided to do it to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to run through it all, and then I'm going to draw it for you guys. Now, it does look complicated. I completely understand that. There's a certain pattern for each face. I get it. We're going to go through it, okay? So I'm going to shut off all my layer properties and go by go through this step by step with you all. So first things first, I created extra layer properties. Uh, basically three construction layer properties. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can just do this in one construction layer property, but I do uh, need you guys to have your center along with your object layer properties, okay? So uh, to begin, what I did was I created a ISO cube a five inch ISO cube. After I did that, I turned on the center lines or created center lines from each midpoint. After that, I created a triangle. As you can see, the triangle is connected from end point to end point. So from here, all the way to over here, down and connected. After that, I created my, what looks here, parallel lines. So as you can see, there are parallel lines right here, parallels right there. These aren't necessarily parallels. Um, again, it does look complicated. I'm gonna walk you through it all. Final step is to create the circles. Now, let's get to it. So I'm gonna go into my first construction layer property. And I'm gonna draw it right here. Let me change my plane. I'm gonna type in five inches. The reason why we need five inches is because we want to create a five inch diameter circle. So I'm gonna create a five inch cube. Start off like that. Change my plane. Change my plane again. There we go, five inch cube. Now, time for my center lines. Uh, I'm gonna start off in here since I'm already in that plane. Now we gotta make sure we are following our constraints. It is very important that we follow our constraints, okay? There we go. Now, next step, I'm gonna create the triangle. Um, I'm gonna start off in the top plane. So I'm gonna create this line right here. Then I'm gonna change my plane. This line right here. Change my plane again. There we go, we have a triangle. I know it says construction three, second step, it's okay. Now, I'm gonna go into construction two. This is where it gets a little tricky. So I'm gonna start off in this plane, right? And I'm gonna create a set of parallel lines from this end, from this midpoint to this end. Now, you can turn on ortho or you can keep it on. Just know if you have ortho on, it's gonna bite. Um, that's fine. I'm going to create another line so it becomes a parallel to this end point right here. Make sure you are hitting your constraints. We have to make sure we are, or object snaps, I'm sorry. 
we have to make sure we're hitting our midpoints, our endpoints, okay? Now I'm gonna create a, another set of parallel lines going this way. And right here, okay? So we have this parallel line, we have this parallel line, we have this parallel line, this parallel line, okay? So just double check, one, two, one, two, right? So one, two, three, four, okay? Now, I'm gonna press F5. We're gonna go on top. If you see, everything comes out from this corner right here. This end point is where mostly everything meets. But don't worry about that. We're going to create our lines. So this one doesn't really necessarily, this top face doesn't necessarily get parallel lines. But you go from this end corner right here to this end point. From here to here. Looks like a little triangle going on. Then you do the opposite side from here to here, from here to here, okay? Now we got one, two, three, four, right? That's four lines. One, two, three, four. Now for our last face, we are going to go from this end point right here so this midpoint, oh, sorry. So this midpoint, then we are gonna create a parallel line from here to here, from here to here, and here to here, okay? Now, I'm going to turn off everything else real quick, just so like that we can take a look. Okay. So as we can take a look here, it's really a big triangle with lines going through it. So if we turn this uh, construction layer back on, right, everything starts from here. Okay, we have this X right here, this line going across, and this big triangle. Now, let's turn everything else back on. This is a tricky part, y'all. Let's create the <clears throat> circle itself. So if you take a look at this arc option right here, you're gonna have a drop down menu. You can see three points, start center end, start center angle, start center length. We want the start center length. Remember that function, start center length. So I'm gonna start right here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go from here. So this intersection right here, you see how the intersection comes up? To so this end point right here, that's my first line. Now, not everything is gonna be the same. Start center length again. I start here, then I go all the way across. I follow this green line all the way across and I end it right here. Now, I go to start center length again, start, I get the intersection, end point right there, start center length again, I start from here, all the way over here to this end point. Now, I'm gonna show you the technique or pattern Let's start off with, 
Let, let's let's do the front or I'm sorry, the right side, right? Now, if we notice, this is broken up into four quadrants. Think of a graphing plane, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Quadrant one and quadrant three are similar with the pattern. They both have an intersecting line. So your intersection point is gonna be here and here. And in quadrant two and quadrant four, do not have that intersection line. And you wanna do this in a counterclockwise order. As you can see here, I went counterclockwise and I went all the way around. So I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna start right here. We're gonna go counterclockwise. So start center because it has an intersection point length. And now again, it goes counterclockwise. So whenever you come to this point right here, ready to draw quadrant two, right? We did quadrant one. So quadrant one got the start, the intersection, and the end point right here. We're gonna start quadrant two right there. Quadrant two doesn't have an intersection point. So we have to follow this green line all the way down and get this end point right here. Now, quadrant three, same thing as quadrant one. Start, we get the intersection point and we get this end point right here. Now, start center length again. We're gonna do quadrant four. We go all the way up to this point right here. We're done. Now, let's do the top. Start center length. So remember, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Quadrant one and quadrant three are similar. Quadrant two and quadrant four are similar. I'm gonna start right here. Start, quadrant one, I'm gonna start. Intersection point, center, length. Start center length. To do quadrant two, I start from where I ended quadrant one. I go along the screen line all the way over here. Now, again, start center length. Quadrant three, I start where I ended. I go to the center point, and then I end it right there. Quadrant four, start all the way, follow the line, green line all the way across, end it right there, okay? And that's for now. Uh, that's it for now. Let's uh, make sure we get to this, and then stay tuned for the next assignment. Take care, y'all.